Welcome back, my friends. Um, I have no idea why I made that voice. So, um, welcome back. So, we are continuing our runs of the 1.3 beta of RimWorld. Excitedly wait awaiting the, re the uh, arrival of Ideology. By the way, the Steam page for it is up. But, of course, it's not for sale yet, unfortunately. Um, the good and bad news is I will have lots of time to play it. Which means maybe I'll produce lots more videos of it, longer videos, or actually spend time streaming on Twitch. Because I have a procedure, surgical procedure coming up and I'm going to have quite a long recovery time. Which means <gasps> no actual job and more time playing video games. So first of all, thank you to the feedback I got. The suggestion to turn down the music volume. Let me know if that's an appropriate temp uh, temperature. <laughs> appropriate volume and also uh the, so, you know just somebody you know people for letting me know that they like the beginning of the runs and that i shouldn't start the run a little ways in you know I, you know i i'm never sure if the beginning is is to, like boring or whatever so i've kind of avoided that um showing those kind of initial crash landing but people like to see that people like to see the 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 colon the ponds i choose the colonists i choose and the the place where i settle so I'll make sure to include that in all future runs. Now again, this is part two of run two. So two, run two dash two um, is that's how I'm organizing the names. And where do we leave off? Okay. So uh, we got ourselves a nutrient paste dispenser. We got ourselves a, somebody we're trying to convert over to our side. Got quite the farm going on. I would like to explore some animals. So I may actually, this is my cougar, right? Yeah, right, okay. And I still need a name for this cougar. So I'll have to name... Uh, let's see here. Any training, social, law. Uh, can I rename? Yeah, I can rename, right? Info. I totally forgot how to rename something. Oh, well. Anyway, um, I'm so used to having Rimhood. I, I can't wait until... S Look, I'm going to play modless in terms of, like, content. I promise you that. I promise everyone that. But I've got to have some quality of life mods because there's like, I'm like ha totally handicapped without them. Um, I have installed a couple. Uh, you'll notice that the temperature is displaying in both Fahrenheit and Celsius. And I did also add one that allows a 4x speed. Just to speed things along when we're not doing things otherwise. Ooh, a slaver. That'll be interesting. We'll see if we can get a, another colonist. That might be good. Major break risk. Why? Is lips just like really sensitive? Eight without a table. Eight without really. All right. So we have a new area out here. Let's um set up a table. Can I um? You know, I'll just build a table. So we're gonna take a look and see what the slaver has. Um. So let's see here. Stench. Oh, these are way these people are way too expensive. We could sell our slave. But I mean our slave. Our prisoner. Make a make a little bit of money, but that's okay. Um let's go ahead and buy their pemmican. You know what? No, we don't need pemmican. I forgot. We have a nutrient paste dispenser. We don't need that annoying that nonsense. And I think we're gonna have some heal root soon, so I don't really think we need any of this, do we? Never mind. Nothing to see there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got some heal root coming along. It's actually almost 100% grown in some cases. So let's build ourselves uh, a nice little place to eat. I think we have enough wood for this. We can actually just disassemble this now. Deconstruct. Just open up that whole area. And that way we can have this vent cooling off the cell as well. Alright, we should probably get some more wood chopped down. Let's um Let's see what we can do about wood. Wood, 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 wood. We got some trees over here. Honestly, considering I mean we're in arid shrubland, so we probably can find enough wood process. We 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 
planted too many strawberries. We're going to have strawberries for years. Yeah, we're basically living off a strawberry paste. Um, a delicious strawberry paste. Where is our research? We're not currently researching anything. That seems like a waste. Um... I think eventually, you know, do we, I don't know if we'll need hydroponics, honestly. We're in a permanent summer situation. How about some solar panels? And geothermal, where's the neos, nearest geothermal vent? That one was close by. I could be thinking of another run, though, to be, you know, 100% honest. Um, <laughs> I, I run, not only do I have this run going, but I run some other runs when, you know, playing for fun, not just playing for, well, I play this for fun, but... Not for YouTubing postings, and when I stream on Twitch, I'll probably have a different run going for that, just to keep things all orderly. Um, so, I actually started offline. I started uh, uh, Naked Brutality. It was going pretty well until I thought it's smart to hunt some buffalo, and died shortly after. Fortunately, buffalo revenge came upon me. Alright, so, let's see here. Hey, what, what the hell's going on here? Is that a social fight? Considered guilty. Oh, interesting. I don't know what this is. This colonist is considered guilty. You can freely banish them, etc, etc. Oh. Okay. I don't know what that was about, but I'll take their stuff. All right, so we're gonna have we're gonna have food hopefully here momentarily. Um, what else was Lips having an issue with? Let's check out his other needs. Okay, brutal outdoors. This open space is driving me insane. Oh, that's right, because he likes to be inside. He's a undergrounder, awful barrack, rebuffed by Rose. Well, I can't do much about that. Unsightly environment, minor pain, sweaty. Underground or outdoor. So really, he's having a lot of problems. So let's, um... What are you good at? Are you any good at research? You're not, but you could become good at research. What else? Why don't we do that, and we'll just have lips, basically. Honestly, should we just confine him to the... Here, hold on one second. Have I def... Uh, let's see here. Let's, let's go to... Area 1. I mean, we could potentially just... Just keep them in here. Potentially put a door in there so we can go into the freezer, I guess. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I mean, I think that's fine. Um,. Yeah, so what we'll do is battle for profit. What is this? Two groups of pirates from Belora have been harassing pyramids. This thing. Scavenger gunner. Gastro analyzer. Except for... I don't want to accept any of those. I'm going to play it a little safe right now until we build up. Um, I'm not quite ready to lose a bunch of people yet. But I think I am for now at least going to keep Lips um, just confined. Just until his like mental health improves because he really doesn't want to go outside and do anything else so you know what i'm not gonna force him so now we have a dead body that we should do something with so inspired surgery now it's all of a sudden he's what in a great mood um so i'm gonna start let's see here let's let's create some some graves
I'm gonna create some graves and all right let's see so we'll have them dig some of those graves there and we'll end up burying that guy see this priority hauling I can't wait till the allow tool that's one of those mods that I must have I absolutely must have all right we're gonna expand the zone a little bit we should probably have a dedicated like place to I hate continuing to grow we need to do we not have oh you know what I don't think I set up any ah slate chunks all right so hold on one sec let's bring it down a batch I don't think I've created a bill I haven't well that's a problem hopefully lips will take care of that and then he can stay indoors all the time and everything will be good all right so Rose has gone ahead she's not gonna haul though right so it'll have to be Stafford Nice, nice, nice. All right, so let's expand the zone a smidge more. Let's just ponder for a moment what else we need. Okay, so we got storage. I'm trying to keep things relatively, like, contained. Um, uh, what else? We just have way more food than we'll ever need. <laughs> May have, might have overdone it a bit. But that's okay. That's okay. At least he won't starve to death. Um, let's take a look. Let's see if there's anything else we need. We got proper beds. Maybe a, a proper, like... Um, I hate continuing to build with wooden walls, but for now, we'll continue doing... Oh, I can't put it up there. Oh, yeah. Can I build on this sand? I can't remember. So. We might want a dedicated... Let's bring this out. Bring this out, and we're going to do steel doors. We'll do a steel door here, and a steel door here. Um, and what the heck? One right there. So we're going to have to cut down a lot more wood to make this happen, though. Well, we actually got plenty of wood. So we'll build this out. We'll turn this whole area into... Um, storage area kind of out front and then we'll turn this inner area hopefully it will we'll make it look we can make it look nicer um if his lips not like oh he can't go out and grab it hmm. okay well maybe i won't restrict him i won't explicitly restrict him Raid. Uh-oh. Okay, so we have a raid. What do they got? They just got a club. So we can send out... I can honestly have it. So Lips is three on everything, one on crafting, whatever. So at the end of the day, hopefully he won't... We can also set up something, um, create like a little storage area. But we can create a storage area for like stone inside here too explicitly for stone so he doesn't even have to go outside we'll just let other people haul seems like we got a ton of slate chunks so but before we even do that we need to uh we need to get some fighting done all right so they're coming straight for us It's not quite close enough. Oh, there we go. That was a terrible shot, Stafford. Bose is coming up. Oh.
Oh, good shots. So that's another, it's not, I know it's such a content mod, but the, the ability to put up training dummies and archery things, uh, archery targets is really awesome because it allows them to um, practice their shooting and melee combat outside of combat. So it's another one of those things where, is it a quality of life mod? Is it, it, is it a content mod? You know, maybe it, it crosses the line. I don't know. We'll have to see when we get there. I want to do... I don't want to go too crazy with mods. Um, but, man, there's just some things that are so handy. So let's check out this person. So, pretty shot up. An extreme pen, pain. Um, ooh. Good with animals, good with plants, good with medical. And capable of firefighting, kind, nimble brawler. I say that person is a winner. So let's um, let's go ahead and capture them. We'll start with just a sleeping spot in there. There's our furniture, sleeping spot. Just to add more space. We'll build up this colony. We plenty have plenty of food. Fire carry, uh, melee attack, capture. So I'm actually going to remove stone chunks from this. And I'm going to, let's see here, create a zone, a dumping zone inside here, explicitly for stone. Oh, actually, you know what? No, no, no. I will keep this. Um... I will allow, allow stone chunks there, but I will have this clear all, have only stone chunks, and set the priority for important. All with the hopes that we'll eventually have it so Lips hopefully won't have to leave, because he doesn't like being outside. And, um, yeah. And we'll put a stockpile in here. Oh, wait a sec. Wait a sec. Delete. What happened there? Did I select the wrong zone? Okay. I'm gonna pause this for a sec. No, you pause. You pause! Alright, so we want to stockpile. This is mostly gonna be stockpile. Alright, so that's stockpile with for everything but food. Foods need to go elsewhere. Um, we're going to turn... We're going to have a dumping pile here. Actually, you know what? Um, I think I'll expand this. And this will be only for stone chunks with uh, priority. Let's just say critical. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they'll ever have any other situation. And let's, um, let's delete this zone. So let's, they'll start moving things into here. This will be our dedicated storage facility. We can make this a little bit nicer inside, um, now that they have a table to eat at, etc, etc. And we're getting more and more slate blocks, so we can, we can start replacing. Now, we don't have the replace mod, so this is going to, I gotta remember how to do this. <laughs> I think I need to delete and then replace. Oh god, I do. That's the worst. Can't wait until that quality mod becomes available because I'm definitely switching it over because that's so obnoxious. But we will... I guess what we could also do is actually build... And actually, that's good. Good thought. Good thought. Good thought, random me. We can literally be building on the outside, and that will just expand everything just ever so slightly. And I don't think I'm going to have that on the outside anymore. Instead, we'll have it here. And still, I think we still should have that accessible. And 
And this really could just be replaced outright. All right, so hopefully that will work out as I plan, and we might want to replace that right there. But then we'll delete. Once everything is done, we'll we'll do what we have to do. Maybe we'll have double doors on everything. Um, but great, so we'll have their moving stuff. Um, so we can start... setting these to haul, so that lips won't have to go outside. Oh, we got ourselves a mad ostrich, people. You know what? You know what? Um, let's uh, let's set up a zone one, area one. We'll just have this entirely on the inside, so people can go wherever they need to inside. Um, and we're going to set our animals to stay. Actually, they don't need to worry about. Well, we'll set the animals to stay inside area one. And we'll set our people to stay inside area one into the mad ostrich because I have a feeling I'm gonna mad ostrich is gonna kill us, so let's just avoid that altogether. How is that? Okay, so the mad ostrich is outside. We have uh why are you not Okay, they're all in area one. Okay, Lips, I guess Lips was just coming back inside. Thank goodness he didn't get hit by the mad ostrich. The dog is still going outside. Why is that dog still going outside? Something messed up with... Oh, do they not respect these areas anymore? I'm not really sure. We'll just see how it goes. I'm hoping the mad ostrich will go to sleep and wake up refreshed and not want to kill things. That's my hope. <laughs> All right, so it is a tolerable temperature this warehouse area. It's going to be a little warm because we're it's not completely open. I mean, we could open it up, you know, but I want to try to increase the prettiness of the room in here. Um, and on that note, why don't we get some... Well, we get a... How much more slate do we need? This is okay. Is that ostrich still mad? I do hope to eventually set up an area. In fact, maybe I should convert uh, one of these spaces here away from... Maybe I'll switch this whole thing over to animal grow spaces, or this, to grow hay. Probably this would be better. And we can actually have, like, a barn going. Um, I wonder what the wildlife is available to us. We could... I don't know if our camel's good for keeping. I really don't know. Um... We'll just have to keep that in mind about what we want to what we want to have. Oh my gosh! Wait, have you been? Oh, on draft. Jeez. How long is? How long have they been drafted? Yeah. Wow. All right. Wait a sec. Well, luckily, see, luckily, uh, their prisoner escaped, but we're gonna have to eat him up again. Alright, let's just equip the steel club, and I'm gonna have lips. Wait, not assigned to warding? Oh, this whole thing got opened up as a prisoner. I see. Taking to bed. Uh, there we go. Okay. So temporarily this whole area was opened up uh, and became prisoner because that door disappeared. Again, we don't have replace. Ah, oh, I really need that mod. That is a quality of life mod that should exist in the base game. So replace, um, I, forget, I think it's called replace this or something like that. I can't remember the exact name of the mod, but it basically allows you to basically build something where something already is 
and it simply deconstructs and builds kind of like in one swift motion. So it's never exposed. You know, there's never an open hole uh, in a wall. Um, I mean, maybe for the, like, the slightest second, but you can also do it to replace some other things. Like you can replace a door with a door or a door with a wall or whatever. Um, and you don't run into those sorts of situations. So is that ostrich still mad, yo? So it looks like the ostrich is asleep, so we're probably fine to go about our way. Alright, actually I'm gonna keep them unrestricted. Um, I do want to get them hauling if at all possible. But we are opening it up so that they can go out. We should be safe. Um, and yeah, I mean, because we got to get to building, we got to get more of this stuff. We got tons of these slag chunks. Oh, damn, we got another raid already. Okay, it's just another naked guy with a club. This seems to be a common, common thing. I don't know what's going on with that. Is this guy any good? Another medical, except kind brawler. Actually, not too bad. I mean, these are not bad people. So, if we do end up, um, if if they end up surviving, <laughs> we'll go ahead and uh, give them a shot. After we give them a shot, we'll give them a shot. After we give them a shot of our gun, we'll give them a shot of medicine, and then we'll give them a shot. We'll give it a shot to can recruit them. Then we'll give them a shot in our colony. A lot of shots. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. All right, so we are, we need to take out this person. Come on, oh, oh, and we killed them. Oh well, um, could be worse, I suppose. We'll get the packaged meal. We'll go ahead and grab the club. Consume? We'll never do hauling, I forgot. Um. Are you going to eat a meal, too? Yeah, you're going to take some time to eat a meal. Uh, won't do hauling. Is that why we don't... We have all this garbage in the... Just rotting in the fields? Yeah, we need, we need more colonists. I mean, somewhere along the lines here, I probably should set up... Oh, you know what? I can't put that there. Glad I noticed that. Research done. We got too much... too much crafting going on? I mean, Lips is not our... not our best researcher by any stretch of the imagination, but... No. <laughs> Don't just leave that corpse there. We... we have plenty of... we dug plenty of desert probably very structurally um, uh, unsound graves there in the shifting sands of the desert to desecrate these bodies and preserve them. All right, so is this person... Yeah, we're gonna get some nutrient paste. Needs awful barracks. Um, let's see here. Let's recruit. Forgot to set it to recruiting. So his lips just... He's just grabbing whatever. Is he happy though? Underground, outdoors. He just does not like being outside at all. Unsightly environment. Alright, so I need to improve that. Let's use the first few blocks we have to, um... Try to make this place a little nicer.
Stafford, what are you doing, like... No craft. No craft. Plant cut. Haul. I, I don't know. Okay, let me set some kind of manual priorities here. I mean, not manual priorities. I feel like I'm getting... Some things are getting lost in the shuffle. Alright, we need to bring this heal root in. got them hauling. So, yeah. Hmm. So we've made some good progress here. So we've made some good progress here. Um, uh, let's see here. We, we definitely have a problem with, uh, some la labor, so I'm hoping these prisoners will work out. Um, we started expanding and kind of fortifying, moving away from the wood, which is never a good idea to build with. And we'll slowly move things over to uh, slate or other materials. Um, we'll keep cutting stone to add to that, uh, add to our stockpile of bricks. We'll try to improve the look of everything by moving over to nice slate flooring. Um, and we'll probably expand our base. Having like individual rooms would be really nice for them. I'm sure they'd appreciate that. So we'll try to expand maybe out this way with some rooms. And we need research search, probably set up some solar panels all along here. Um, kind of occupy the space that the windmill needs to needs to have open anyway. And the great thing about this is you can put solar panels right here at one block because they're low to the ground. And yeah, I think we'll be in a good place. It'll be nice when we have a few more helping hands. It's it's awful that Rosa will not haul things. That's really made things difficult. Good builder though. And good shooter. And uh, we'll see how things progress. Yeah. So that was really good for part two of a run, of our second run with uh, 1.3. I hope to get into, what I'm trying to build up towards people is um, actually bringing in animals. So maybe I will, I don't know if drought and camels are really worth, um, uh, I'd like chickens. So maybe chickens or something like that will come along because I want to test the nest, next nest boxes. But it would be great to, in this area, build like a little little barn and have a big open area that we can plant some uh, hay on that they can eat from. And I think that would be really fantastic because I really want to test because the animal systems has had a massive overhaul. Tons of cool new stuff has been added for animals to really bring the farm more of a farming thing to to RimWorld, which I'm really excited about. It's something as part of these runs. I want to show off because it's a big change of 1.3. So I want to be able to do that hopefully in the next, hopefully very soon. Um, we'll get something, we'll get something built. We'll set up like a little hay field since obviously we don't need this many fields of other stuff because we can't even eat all the food we have. So I'm going to convert all these. I'm going to create one big hay field, um, have some animals set up and we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But um, I'm going to call it that for now. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the feedback, so don't be afraid to comment below um, and give me feedback about um, it, it, recording quality, music too loud, my voice is too annoying, which has been some feedback. Not much I can do about that other than, you know, shake my fist at you. Um, but yeah, I would love to have your feedback. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the support. Um, if you're new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe and uh, check me out on Twitch. I am going to try to stream there more often, um, especially when the, the Ideology uh, DLC comes out. I want to do some streams with that. But it's a little harder for me to find time to stream. But I, I am punk on Punky Brew on Twitch. So go ahead. If you're on Twitch, give me a follow over there too. I'd really appreciate it. And um, yeah. So if you enjoyed this, you're enjoying this run, please be sure to hit the like button. And if you hated it, please be sure to hit a like button because my videos could use that sort of boost. So in any case, thanks so much for watching. And as always, thank you for joining me on this journey.